Praise God. Praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I told you I would be back with that video that I was supposed to do last week, but it was just so much stuff going on. So I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. Praise God. Praise God. And I'm going to go and give it to you. Breakdown by breakdown. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to give it to you. Breakdown by breakdown. Mm-hmm. Breakdown by breakdown. Break down by break down. All right. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. This was the video that I was supposed to do last week. But like I said, it's been one thing after the other after the other. Okay. All right. So remember I told you when I did the last one how the enemy has been hitting the church. So now I'm going to tell you the breakdown of the church layer by layer. All right. Let's start. So everybody knows that in back in the day it was church and state. That means the church actually ran the political scene. I'm gonna have to walk this thing out, so stay with me, stay with me. That's right. They went to the church. Should we do this? As a matter of fact, let's go even more further than that. Do you remember when the kings, the kings went to the prophets? Oh, come on, somebody. The kings went to the prophets. Should we go to war? Should we not go to war? So the first thing they dissolved was let's separate the two that way the political scene can take over the scene and the church could go in the background that was the first layer they did then the second layer they closed all the meals in the 60s the 70s and the 80s rice meal steel meal that provided for families and this is not a racial video, but I have to put it how it is, particularly black families. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I, I got this thing on silent. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm not, I don't want nothing to stop my flow. Okay, now nah, it's totally on silent. So basically, that's when the drugs came in. Heroin. Crack. Don't play with me. Y'all know what I'm saying is real. People start getting on drugs, right? They didn't take care of families because now the man, and hold on, it wasn't just predominantly black. It was predominantly black, but it touched every nationality. See, when they put them drugs out there, because we weren't flying no planes, don't I like that? Y'all don't know that. When they put them drugs out there, especially heroin and crack, PCP, y'all remember all that? It hit the it hit the male species in all nationalities. They didn't expect it to do that, and, but it did. And that's when, now back in the day, the woman would stay home and raise the child or rear the child, what you want to say. Make sure that that child went to school. Make sure that they didn't hang with people that were thugging, drugging, or oh, come on, somebody killing. But when... The drug scene came and it started incarcerated a mass incarceration, not just predominantly blacks, but everybody, Latinos, Caucasians, because everybody started getting on that stuff. The male role was now in trouble. So then comes female liberation. Come on, somebody. Y'all know I'm walking this thing out of here. The female started rising, having to leave the home of being that mother to those children. Now they had to leave the home because either the parent got killed, or, excuse me, or incarcerated. Devil trying to talk to y'all saw that for nothing. Wish for something because he know I'm about to break that thing down. Still talking about the church here because here's the deal: if you attack the family, you attack the church. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! What is the church? Us. I don't know if we've forgotten that or what. We are the church. So let me continue. Let me walk this thing through. So now female liberation rise up. Women start getting more paying high to high paying jobs than men. Oh, come on, somebody in my line. Children started doing things because not a mom, not home. They raising themselves. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. But then hold on. That's when the game started. I remember the first one, Grand Theft Auto. I was in LA when that thing came out. So now the mother's not home. 
We gonna raise them kids through the TV, through the music. Come on, somebody, through the video games. We gonna show them how to kill. We gonna show them how to steal. Oh, y'all know it's true. Y'all know it's true. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the first hit to the church was dividing the family. If they tear down the family, you tear down the church. Because what the church is made of? Families. Oh, that was a good one. So then what they did is, because y'all know back in the day, the church, we had so much church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You could feel the power of God. I was telling my class that tonight. When you went in church back in the day, if you was chewing gum, you felt the power of God. You'd be like, you didn't know what it was, but you was like, I feel something. Nowadays, everybody don't need to. You don't feel hollering nothing. Let me walk this thing out some more. So then, they took off the robes. Let's give them suits to wear. Because we, we, church is about to become a business. And hold on. Remember, we had so much love back then for one another. We respected each other. When it wasn't about the titles, it was just brother, sister. So and so, God bless you. Hallelujah. Testimony time. Thankful time. Thankful we got food. Thankful we got each other. Thankful we got a car. Hallelujah. That was testifying time. They took that out and put an order of service. Come on, somebody. I'm walking it out. Hallelujah. Let's put an order of service. We're going to have the hymn, the bulletin, the music. Took out the Holy Ghost. Ah, we don't want the Holy Ghost burning things. We're going to have an order of service. That, that word order comes because that was that first order. Y'all ain't ready for me, but let me continue to walk it out. So now most of the churches didn't have money back in the 70s and the 80s. Y'all know that. So they gave a few people churches. And I remember one particular in from Louisiana. Money coming to me now. Oh, I think we was all saying it. Y'all know it's the truth. Dr. Leroy Thompson. Oh, everybody remember that, right? So, anywho, let's give them money. Because we need to move them from their God. So the prosperity teaching started. Now it was a division. The churches that didn't have money were not so anointed somewhere. Because if you don't have money, you're not anointed. If you don't have a choir, you're not anointed. If you Am I lying? Am I lying? Hallelujah. Then we're going to call them mega churches. Mega churches have more people, more money. The little church is just a little corner church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People start leaving the little corner. I'm, I'm going where everybody go because it's a mega church. Y'all walk with me. Walk with me because I'm not even nowhere near finished. Okay. All right, brought in the prosperity, teaching. Then they change the standards. God said, come as you are. So women start coming. A little short of stuff, cleavage. Men start wearing tighter clothes. We got, a, we got the rules no more because we throwing the rules out because we blessed and highly favored. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He hit us first with the spirit of lust. Lust for money and then lust for one another. Because once we started getting out the robes, then you didn't look at pastor like a man of God. You look at him like, oh, pastor, fine. Oh, she fine. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. So now your eye gates. You see, he attacked the gates. He attacked the eye gates, the ear gates. Because once the eyes start looking at, that's what, that's what happened to Eve. It wasn't just about the serpent. Her eyes lusted for that nectar. It was a sweet nectar, by the way. I know scriptures say apple. No, no, no. Scripture don't even say it said fruit. But scholars say it was a sweet nectar. Everybody say apple, huh? I know, yeah, whatever. You know, they didn't lie about everything. It was a sweet nectar. It was appealing to her eyes. The enemy knows the most powerful thing. Television. Telepathic. So if I can get their eyes to see what I want them to see, because if they see, they're going to become. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. So now, y'all remember, leave it to Beaver, the little house on the prairie. Oh, come on, somebody. I ain't all of my 50 something. These movies that talked about a good home and how you should raise your children and how you should be in the society. Nah, we don't want that. 
let's start bringing in movies that talk about lust and sex. As a matter of fact, why don't we hit them with the stories? One life to live. All my children. That was the first ones. Everybody looked at that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Before the movies came, it was the stories. And they start getting in people's spirits. And that's when more adultery started happening. Oh, uh, come, don't play with me. Because they was looking at it on TV first. All my children. What days of our lives? Oh, it was some days of our lives. Don't forget the young and the restless. Because everybody was doing the duty, young and the restless. And it was okay because we started watching it. Okay, so now lust, adultery. All right, we're bringing that in the church now. So so this started a long time ago. Okay, but we, we got to break down a little bit more. So women, we start becoming dominant. Started dominant. Because men weren't getting them jobs. Remember, all the mills was closed. So now the authority have shifted. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Am I lying? <laughs> all right, let me continue. So now everything is different. The television, the cussing. Remember they didn't used to curse? They fed us with lies. Tell lie vision. Started stripping the church of the spiritual eyesight. Then hearing worldly. Then acting worldly. And it came right in the church. Hold on. Once the lust started entering in, then it attacked the marriages. Mm, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. A family that prays together really stay together. But if I can get them to start committing adultery. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's how they broke down the church. Little by little by little. Hold on. You know what? This church too common. Let's pray in some con contemporary gospel music. Not gospel, contemporary, meaning it ain't really gospel. So let's take out the holiness and let's start putting in the worldliness. Am I lying? Little by little. Let them wear what they want to wear, even though it's a sanctuary and God is holy. Come on, somebody. Let them wear what they want to wear. So now people started having sex in the church that you even with a man and woman of God when back in the day it used to be shun upon I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna look at that man of God like that hallelujah I'm, I'm going somewhere the breakdown of the church little by little by little now we have a world of church no anointing because we've allowed the world to come in and tell us how we should walk how we should talk how we should manifest Hallelujah. That's the truth. And here's the deal. I'm going to break it down with the tabernacle. I said it earlier today. I'm going to reiterate it. The tabernacle of Moses, which is supposed to be the structure of the church. They had a big wooden vessel, bowl, when they would put everything in there, all the tithes and all the offerings. And guess what? They would start with the elders, the elderly first. They would take care of everybody, not just the pastor. No, 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 no. Hallelujah. That it was the original tabernacle and how the church and even the apostles did it. They made sure that everybody was blessed. Now, let's talk about the second tabernacle, the tabernacle of David, the worship. Hallelujah. David made sure that certain strings were not played in the house of God because he wanted the music holy. Because he know that God is a God of order. Uh oh, there we go. Because the enemy came and he said, I'm going to change the order. Oh, there we go. Order again, huh? Hallelujah. So anywho, David knew that the Levites were the peers that are up heart, upright. And God said, I'm going to let you make the foundation for the music. The music was supposed to stay holy. Being that the devil was the choir director, he had perverted the music. So now you got people dancing. I didn't even notice. I'm about to break this thing down. Some of you are not going to agree. I really don't even care. Because I used to be the best dancer in the world. And God told me, he said, do you know you're not supposed to dance? Hold on. Because people are going to say, well, David danced. David danced a holy dance. He's talking about gyrosh. Oh, but I'm going to break it down the word. Certain chords, certain melodies, certain strings of instruments 
make you want to worship God. Hallelujah. And certain chords make you want to gyrate. Club. Oh, come on, somebody. We're going to walk that thing out. Oh, yeah. What happens in clubs? We know what happens in clubs, especially after the club. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. When you look at the church today, because I ain't going to make this thing long and drawn out. When you look at the church today, don't they have all the lights, the smoke? Isn't that almost like the club? The enemy came into the church and transformed it into a club now. Literally. Clicks and tricks. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The breakdown of the church. If I can get them from worshiping the true and living God, and I can get them in self-worship, that's where we at, self-worship. How do you say that, prophetess? When you sing a song, let's say you're a worship leader. If you say a song, don't you want some applause? You want the praise. Oh, come on, somebody. That's why they call it praise and worship. Oh, I'm about to break this thing down. Do you understand what praise is? Hallelujah. Praise is not even truly accepted before God. He said, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Worship. He don't want nobody worshiping. Everybody's doing praise now. Praise. There's a difference between praise and worship. God wants you to go back to worship, said the Lord. The breakdown of the church. We come into God's house with phones. We come into God's house with shades. We come into God's house all uncleavish, all out, mini skirts. But well, well, he says, come as you are. I can show you in the Bible where he says, respect my sanctuary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. The authority has shifted now. You got the women mostly running the churches. Am I lying? Even the first lady. And that is not biblical, by the way. There ain't no first and no lady. Nowhere in scripture. But I get it. Man-made protocol. Man-made order. And God say this. He said, I'm tearing it all down in this hour. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does say it, the Lord. My order will be restored. Hallelujah. Is we headed toward a new world order. There goes that word order again. Hallelujah to his name. People of God, it's time to strip, God says. Strip of all the worldliness. Strip of everything that is not of God, God says. Hallelujah to his name. Even the movies. Because here's the deal. As it happens in the spirit, it happens in the natural. Television did a lot of damage to all of us. You can say what you want. How did they start it gangbanging? Well, let's show them how it's done. Boys in the hood, minister society. Am I lying here? Come on, somebody. If I'm lying, just, just, just tell me. Because you see, and then you mock what you see, especially if you're, if you're, if you're not conditioned. To love God and surrender to the Holy Ghost. I say it all the time. If you are not surrendered to the Holy Ghost, you are capable of anything. Because who's who's running yo? Who, who, who's really? Who's really? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So the so what he did is he broke us down little by little by little. Until now we have no standards. Hallelujah. And God is bringing back the standard. I'm telling you what that said the Lord. This is the year of exposure like never before God says. God says, I'm not going to let it go down like this. That's a, my church. I'm a holy God, holy Bible, and holy spirit filled. Hallelujah to his name. That was the breakdown. And even in the family. Husbands, they don't respect marriage. Wives don't respect marriage. They'll divorce each other so quick and make your head spin. Who taught you that? Who taught you not to love yourself? Who taught you not to have the statues of God in a church and in your heart? Hallelujah. The world, God says. Hallelujah. He says, come back, come back, come back to the basis. Come back, come back to the order of God, God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got everybody on here lying. I see him. I see him. I see him. They be preaching, just preaching, preaching for the dollars. I'm not saying that God don't want us to bless each other. 
But when you're doing it for the sole purpose of you got three or four cars, you got a big old mansion, how can you do that, Pastor? How can you drive by the people that's in the ghetto in your neighborhood and you drive and go to your mansion and you don't even know if they got bread on their table or water in their refrigerator? Hallelujah. God is not pleased with the state of the church. God is not pleased. And when somebody says something, oh, you shouldn't say something. He's highly favored and blessed. Who gave him that blessing? Who is the who is the God of this world? Y'all don't want to play with me tonight. Because the Bible says he knows how to bless too. Hallelujah. Stop playing this game, says the Lord. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He said, who? Who have allowed you? To be filled with gall and iniquity. He said, return. He said, return to me to, with a whole heart. It's time to repent, all of us. Hallelujah to his name. We know this is a mess. Hallelujah. And look what the world is doing. They laughing now. Because men and women of God are just falling from grace. Because they touch the unclean thing. We all go have tests, trials, and tribulations. It has happened since Genesis to now. God will make sure to test you because he wants to know if you want that money, Judas, or you just want me. See, people don't really understand the story of Judas. You don't think God knew who Judas was. God was giving Judas a chance to want the real prize, salvation. How could you be that close to God, Jesus in the flesh, and still have evil in your heart? So don't don't think it can't be done. A reprobate mind, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. That's what the state of the church is in. And that's why people are falling. Left and right, which I repeat in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God said, come back to the structure. Come back to the basics. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because guess what? Now the world looking like the church. Everybody go with what's, what was popular. And, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all not going to like me right now. Y'all not going to like me. Y'all not going to like me. I know this is a hard message. It doesn't even matter. I love a good singer. But honey, if they're not anointed, what are they doing? Because a worshiper is a worshiper is a worshiper. Oh, I'm about to break that thing down. Don't you know this kingdom of darkness has worshipers? Oh, yeah. Every time you go to a concert. What is really going in your spirit, said the Lord. Every time you listen to something that is not of God, what is happening? Y'all wonder why our kids are killing each other and their parents? It is what's in their ear that's coming out of their heart, said the Lord. The gates, the gates. Who left the gate open? Because somebody left the gate open. Hallelujah. That's how the enemy got in, through the gates, God says. Little by little. By little. And now we got a whole mess. And now the church so busy trying to build the church instead of beat the church. Where's your power? That's what God wants to know in this hour. Where's your power? Because you can have all the money, all the cars, all the houses all day long. But if you can't lay hands and cast out a demon for real and heal your brother and your sister, deliver them for real. That you have not the authority and the power of Jesus Christ. And he says, I've come to save those that was lost. Do you know people are sitting right in the church lost? Hallelujah. Lost. Going to church every day. Hallelujah. On here every time they get. But still filled of the devil, God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to start training people again the right way because there's a biblical principles and there's an error that's going forth like never before. That is from the kingdom of darkness. That's why people are not strong in the Lord like they used to be. Hallelujah. They don't want to sacrifice. Oh, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you everything. Hallelujah. It's going to cost you your life too. People don't want to die. Everybody's trying to save their life. Everybody's trying to be famous. Hallelujah. The breakdown of the church, little by little by little. Because ain't nobody want to go through nothing. Because this going to cost you everything. 
Oh, yes, warfare is going to be intensified. People going to lie on you. Everybody want to just go along and get along. That's what God told me. Yeah. Nay, said the Lord. You're supposed to rise up, remnant. Rise up, remnant. Rise up, remnant, remnant said the Lord. And if you die, you die. Because all we did was trade places with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your turn. Hallelujah. Carry your cross, said the Lord. Everybody will just want to. They want to do a cross, but they don't want to carry a cross. Breakdown of the church. Little by little by little. And God said in this hour, I'm building my people and I'm building my church. That's what he said. Hallelujah to his name. So I'm not going to keep you long because I just want to go through the breakdown. That's why marriage is not lasting in the church. The devil didn't got lust all in the church. Y'all don't want to go. Oh, thank you, Lord. I hear you. The intercessors, you don't want to intercede. You're supposed to go around that church on the outside. Hallelujah. Praying in tongues. You're supposed to touch every seat on the inside. Hallelujah. And get rid of all that stuff that's in there before the pastor even preach. That's how you intercede. But y'all too busy gossiping. Y'all ain't ready for me. Oh, I feel the power of God. Then y'all got the worship leaders. Oh, Lord, they're not going to like this, but I have to be honest. That's almost sexual. Oh, don't. I'm not bashing nobody. God loves everybody. But the spirit of a man. So all that stuff going out in the congregation, and y'all wonder why. Your children don't know that they, they want to be a girl or a boy. Hallelujah. Spirits is real. Y'all got people singing in the worship team that's fornicating. Let me tell you something. The anointing trickles down from the head all the way to the bottom. God going to get you pastors and leaders that have put people in position that you know that are in sin. But then nobody want to say nothing because they, 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 they could say nigga tear it up. That's right. They tearing up your church. And God going to get you because he's he he has actually put you over as a bishop over the souls of the men and women of God. He going to get you. Hallelujah. He going to get you. Y'all put people in position because y'all like them. That's my friend. That knowing they're not anointed. And the person that God told you to, to put, you don't want to put them because I don't like them. Oh, I know it's hard up in here. The breakdown of the church. It's kind of social club. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't want nobody to tell you nothing. Call good, evil, good. Evil, good. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Save us. Save us. We don't understand what we've done. And I know you don't. So let, let me get to that point. The reason why the, the people out there dying is because the church is not doing their job. You're supposed to be witnessing. You're scared. The power of God is real. And I'm going to tell you three stories before I get off of here. I tested the power of God. And I'm going to tell you how. First story in Atlanta. 19, I would say about 94. No, 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 no. Yeah, before I even really got ordained. They had, okay, so I was driving through the complex. And I wasn't obedient. I heard God say, call the cops, but I didn't see nothing. Within five minutes, they was shooting. I never forget this. And I was a young Christian, too. And God said, find Adam. I never forget the guy named the little boy, Adam. And it was so crazy because my mentor, I was at his I was at his house. So I found Adam. I don't know how I found him. Power of, of the Holy Ghost telling me, turn here, turn here, turn here. And they had, they had his, his whole head was open. His brain was out. And I said, with the power of God, I said, leave him alone. And they had guns in me. I said, I'm not playing. They looked at me. I said, get him out of here. I think I'm playing. They saw the power of God. I ain't that brave. And I held Adam's brain together. And I said, you should live and not die because God sucked me. I said, nah, stay with me, young man. Stay with me. And I'm not telling you this story to make myself look good. I'm telling you how a true Christian is supposed to be doing Hallelujah. That young man lived. Now, this was the crazy part. When I got to the apartment, I had blood on me. My mentor had blood on him. The other guy who they had shot, they shot him. 
God had told him to run outside and save him. So we just heard each other started crying. God used us. We didn't even know. We didn't even know because I'm coming in and he coming out, out of the house. And those two were friends. So the mothers, they thanked us. I said, no, thank God. Because God wants to save your children, but they were to change their ways. It's time for you to tell those children to tr stop being scared of them. You got church leaders scared of people. Hallelujah. Gun can't kill you. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. Y'all ain't ready for that power of God. One more story and I'm going to get up off of here. California. I was at the library. Yeah, that one. I, I'm going to tell two more. I was at the library. These, they just took out their guns. And I'm not trying to act like I'm all that. But the power of God is real. It rose up in me and they was about to shoot. I said, not today, not on my watch. And they just looked at me. I said, I'm not playing. Get in them cars. Get in them cars. And they left. And they just looked at me like, this woman crazy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's the power of God. And that's what God needs in this hour. People that's going to be used. Because them devils around here, they sneak. They do all kind of stuff they ain't got no business doing. And they're always plotting and planning. But God say, I got 7,000 that haven't bowed to the spirit of Baal. That's a low number if you think, if you ask me, the powerful number. And the third one, how God used somebody else you don't even know. And this is what God needed in this hour. So I had an event. And so I'm hanging up flyers at this Ralph's. Never forget so I'm getting out the car, and this woman getting out the car, and we see these two friends arguing. They're about to shoot each other. We looked at each other. I said, you take that one. I take that one. And this is how you break that demon. I don't know who this is for. This is for somebody. I told the young man, I said, look at me. He, he looking at him. I said, no, 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 no. Look at me. He must have saw the God in me or something. He calmed down. I said, now walk with me. Oh, he disrespect. I said, I, I know, I know. Walk with me. I hadn't did anything with the power of God in me. I was just obedient. What am I saying? We need to stop being jelly back and take our streets back. Take your neighborhoods back. Take your churches back. Hallelujah. Take your homes back. Hallelujah. Devil doing too much, thus said the Lord. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm serious. With the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you about God. So it's been a breakdown of the church, layer by layer. He's been breaking us down. Now, at this state, we don't trust each other. Because the pastors, when somebody tell you something, they your sermon. Well, sister, so-and-so, she prayed. You wrong. You out of order. The only thing supposed to go over that pulpit is the word of God. No politics, no business, no gossip. <gasps> Did I just say that? I sure did. You out of order. I don't care who you are. The only thing supposed to go over that pulpit is the gospel. Hallelujah. Of God. Of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You out of order. So now people can't trust it. Who do I tell? Who, 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 do, I, who do I confide in? That's not going to tell my business. Y'all understand the breakdown of the church? The, breast, the breakdown of the sister in Christ and the brother of Christ? The jealousy. The uh, competition. All that in it in. And God said, I'm about to demolish it. It's time for us to have unity again. The fivefold. Pastor, you don't want no prophet in the house because you know we're going to see you. That's my church. You ain't got no church. None of y'all got no church. I'm going to just tell y'all now. Y'all ain't got no church. That's Jesus Christ of Nazareth's church. You, you, you just, a, you're supposed to be a, stu a steward. A steward. A servant. That's my church. My church. You ain't got no church. Hallelujah. That's souls. Jesus Christ souls. Hallelujah. God said, I'm, I'm realigning order. And I'm telling you what he's saying. There's some hard exposures getting ready to come. And some big mega churches. God pulling the cover backwards. He exposed. It don't even matter if you're in church or out of church. Anybody can get it. Me, you. And yes, that famous dog named Boo. Y'all think this a game. People playing with God in this hour. I see them. They be listening around corners. They be doing, plotting and planning. Not even knowing. 
death at the door for those that come against the men and women of God. I'm telling you what I see. Think I'm playing this hour. And guess what? The stuff that used to come is coming quick. Y'all don't notice that? It's coming quick. Y'all sitting up there playing. God told me, he said, I'm taking a lot of people because they, they're not going to be able to take what's coming. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I just said. You don't know when God going to call you home and you playing. You big and bad and bold. Hallelujah. And I'm so sorry to tell you this. Yeah, you can ask for forgiveness, but how you live on this earth will determine your eternity. I don't know why y'all lying to yourself thinking once saved, always saved. Every day you got to stay saved. Every day you got to ask for forgiveness. Every day you got to repent. And quit playing them games. Because you're going to die. I'm telling you what God said. This is thus said the Lord. Death is knocking at the door. God is not playing with any of us in this hour. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I'm telling you what God said. Okay, I'm not going to keep going on and on. I just feel the power of God so heavy. Hallelujah. 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 The devil, he did, he, he, the Bible says he's cunning. So he knew how to come in through money, through honey, and through funny. Now y'all know why I say that. The three things that come against the men and women of God, the first one is money. All oh, that money. They can do some strange things, huh? The second, men and women. Y'all don't want to be alone. Knowing that man don't want you or that woman don't want you because the honorable thing to do is to marry you. And then when you get used up, you get mad at God. And God said, I, I didn't ordain that. I didn't tell you to do that. And the third, sex. Because that's a soul tie. That's where he hitting the women and men of God. Lust, the spirit of Balao. Just hitting us, hitting us, hitting us. God say, touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you. That's where we are. If you read the book of James, I, I try to listen to it every day in audio. It tells you, what, what is your portion? To stay unspotted from this world. Hallelujah. So it was simple, huh? Simple. It don't seem simple. But that's how you got the church. Little by little by little. But don't worry. God said, I'm making everything new. Hallelujah for the power of God. All right, you guys. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, have mercy. All right. God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless. I love you all in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have a blessed night.